So you, so they're lying on a massage table. Maybe you put a blanket on them, um, and then pillows. Make sure they're as comfortable as possible. Uh, you know, the, the more comfortable and safe and relaxed a person is, the, the easier it is for them to. And are they in the dark, or is the light on? They usually dim the lights uh -huh. so that they can be relaxed. And um, and what happens? What do they feel? Or do they they say that they feel something? A lot of Everyone's different, so they, they respond in different ways, but a lot of people will feel uh, when they have an energy release, kind of like a, a, heat, a, a heating sensation on the inside of the body that kind of builds and then releases. Um, they'll feel very relaxed. Um, they will feel, and you know, and it really depends. I'll have people who will come in and they're so stressed and they'll feel more relaxed after a session, and some people who are tired who will have just, I had so much energy, I, you know, I was just, I felt like I could just, you know, accomplish everything, and, and um, you're just running around, you know, the rest of it, it, it really depends, you know, when you come back and balance, you'll integrate, and, and a lot of times feel the opposite yeah. of, you know, of the extreme that you were. Does it hurt? Kind of Do people find that it hurts? No, it's a, it's a non-invasive modality. Um, I, I actually work with a lot of people who are afraid of needles or doing acupuncture. I feel it has a lot of the same benefits of acupuncture, but without, yeah, the it, without the invasive uh, nature of other modalities. So just light touch. What what kind of people do you feel like respond best to it? Or is there a, a certain personality, or is there a certain health issue, or is there? That's a, a good question. Yeah. I, um, I mean, all people respond especially to a basic healing or what we call a chelation, which is uh, in a, a balancing of the energy lines and uh, removing blocks. So most people respond, and we work with the, the characterology of the person, so uh, be, I'm, I'm aware of different, how people will respond due to different traumas or life experiences that they've had. So depending on that, I will work with the person a little bit differently to help you know, their specific needs. Are there, um, just keeping aware of time, are there certain kinds of, you know, one of the things we talked about off camera was, was anger and inflammation. Are there certain kinds of things that Brandon Method, you feel like, deals with especially well? I would say, well, going into anger, I mean, I, I can you know, talk about my own personal experience. I, I feel, uh, and with Brendan Healing Science, that emotion is uh, definitely connected to our body, and our body's a mirror to that system. So wherever we're feeling pain, uh, we can actually locate kind of what's happening. There's a, a, like a body map. Um, for me personally, I had an autoimmune disease, and what I discovered, was that my rage that had been internalized was attacking my body. And uh, that's literally what autoimmune disease is, is the body attacking itself. So learning, I, I teach my clients techniques to have, they can have their emotions and release their emotions in a healthy way that causes a balance and vitality for the system and releases it helps them to have their emotions without hurting themselves or taking that out on their external environment. So maybe it's especially good if you've got sort of unresolved anger or tension or stress. Or anxiety, or anxiety or stress yeah. or, you know, or fear. Just, I mean, there's so many emotions right. that we hold deep down inside that we were, you know, told when we were younger, that's not appropriate, you yeah. can't have that. So I definitely encourage my clients and clients who, I, I tend to attract clients who really want to take an active part in their healing, that they're, they're really wanting to be more conscious of, and, and, and I, I, t I attract very curious people, like, why, why does that happen? I want to know more about Would you happens. think that there are certain kinds of illnesses that respond better to, to Brennan Method? You know, it, I, I tend to specialize in endocrine uh -huh. order, disorders and autoimmune issues and, and thyroid. And I also work with um, fertility. And that's just my own experience 
from, from my personal experience and from hanging out there, um, different brain imaging science practitioners will kind of have, you know, where they where they feel comfortable. Although we are, it is a four-year training. Um, we're taught over 70 different techniques to work with all different types of disease processes. They all kind of come from um, kind of similar issues, but they, they evolve kind of differently. But your, so your special, uh, speciality would be endocrine? Endocrine, and autoimmune. Um, it's very good for lymphatic mm -hmm. issues, the lymphatic, um, clearing the lymphatic system. Is so kind of systemic. Really 